Hey guys, it's Yakachu. I am here, uh, I guess with a new kind of video. This will be a, my first top 10 video, and I will be sharing with you guys my, I guess, my top 10 favorite TV shows. Um, oh, uh, what else? Oh, I want to say there's not going to be any anime shows in on this list because I'm going to save that for a different list. Um, yeah. Heads up, some of these shows might be a bit childish, but I mean, there isn't really that... Well, there are, like, adult shows that I do like. It's just... I feel like they, I mean, since this is a top 10, the adult shows that I like, that would be, like, they're in the top 15, I'll say that. So, anyway, without further ado, actually, um, I want to say that for each, you know what, never mind, let's get to the list. So, anyway, number 10. So, for number 10, I have cho chosen, uh, Monster High, and I know it's, um, it's like a show that's online, it's not really a TV show, but it's still a show, I enjoy it, um, let's see, I guess right now, because I know they did release, a uh, reboot of Monster High with like a different animation sort of thing and I mean if I had to choose between the reboot and the original I would choose the reboot um I like it a lot better just because I don't know I think it's because of like the animation because uh, with the I guess the way it's 3D animated, the way they changed that, because, um, before I know for, like, their webisodes, they had, like, a 2D model, and I think they still do that for the reboot, and, um, but for the original, when they were doing, like, the movies, and they did, and for the original 3D models that they had for the characters, I didn't like that. <sighs> How can I say it? They look too detailed, I guess. That's all I really have to say. Um, oh, what else? I don't know. I guess I like the concept. I mean, it's the children of famous monsters all going to school together. So, I don't know. To be honest, I... I'm pretty sure it's mainly, um, well, I mainly put it on this list as, like, a placeholder. Uh, like, the, some of the shows on this list are just placeholders, because, I mean, there's some shows that I like that are on this list, but, I mean, I don't put them, like, you know what, I'll, I'll get to that when we do, actually. I am unprepared for this, sorry. Um, anyway. I suppose I sh probably should have said before, um, I will play a little bit of the main theme for each of these shows. And for Monster High, I chose, well, I mean, it doesn't really have a main theme that I can find. So I chose, like, my favorite song from the new reboot. So, here it is. I like this song. This is probably my favorite out of all of them. For the reboot, that is. I'm gonna turn the volume down. Um, this song, I guess I, 
I don't know. It's a good theme for Monster High. I wish this would be like their main theme. I don't think this is their main theme for it. So, um, yeah. So I'll only play you guys like the first minute. I mean, if the song, if the song that I've chosen for like the theme, because I know for some of these, I couldn't. You know what? I'll. For some of the themes on here, I've pulled up the full theme, and if it's like more, if it's like more than a minute, then I'll just play you guys the first minute of it. So, anyway, that's number ten on this list, Monster High. So, on to the next one. We have number nine. So, for number nine, I have. Ch for number nine on this list, I have chosen Ever After High. Now, again, I know it's an online show, but it's still good. And honestly, I like this a lot better than Monster High, because, I mean, at first, I was, when Ever After High first came out, I was, I don't know, I was... I was open to watching it. I would watch it when I was bored, but, <laughs> I mean, now, for how long it's been out, I feel like I've gotten to know the characters a lot more. Uh, I don't know, they've gotten so much character development that I just, I love them to bits. I love the characters. Um, I just... And as for the two main characters, Raven Queen and Apple White, I know they have like a royal and rebel thing sort of going on. And... Ugh. I gotta say my favorite character in for, from Ever After High is Raven Queen. Which means, yeah, if I had to choose between royal or rebel, I'd be a rebel. Just because they all look so... So much more interesting. Um, anyway, yeah, here's the theme again. The song for this, I found the full theme. It's m more than a minute, so I'll just play you guys the first minute of it. So, here you go. It's really magical. Some of the thing memorized, so. But now you're feeling like a different ending. Sometimes you've got to learn it on your own. It's an open book, a road in reverse. A brand new hook, forget that curse. It's a rebel cause with a royal heart. Right, ignite, restart. Cause it's your life. It's your time. So that's the first minute of it. Well, minute and five seconds. I wanted to continue that phrase out for you guys. So, anyway, that's the placeholder for number nine on this list. Moving on. Number eight. Um, for number eight, I have chosen, it's another online show, I guess. Um, it's a bit... It's ch childish. Like I said, a lot of the things on this list are a bit childish, but I mean, that's me. I like child. I like kid shows. So, number eight on this list, I have chosen Star Darlings. Now, this is, it's kind of a new online show that's out there. Um, it didn't really hook me at first, but then I sort of like listened to the music and, I don't know, I guess the one thing that I like about this is the music in this. I mean, I like the music in all these shows. They all have good themes. Um, the characters in this... Oh, if I remember, the 
I don't remember all of them, but I mean, it, it's a good show. I like it. It's for the animation. It has like a it's a 3D animation sort of thing. Um, I don't really know what more else to say. I like the story that it's going off of. Well, that it has. It hasn't really gotten any story progress as of late. Um, yeah, I guess that's mainly because it's still kind of new. But I mean, what got me, I guess all I can say is what got me hooked on this is the music. So I'll play you the first minute. And I mean, tell me what you guys think down in the comments if the music on this gets you hooked. minute of it for you guys. I kind of like it. Mainly, like I said, the music is what got me hooked for this show. Um, oh, I guess I forgot to say this. Okay, I know the last two things that I listed off also have dolls, but I mean, I don't really, I don't know. They don't look like the actual characters somewhat, but the dolls for Star Darlings, I've seen them in stores. I haven't bought any of them. I probably won't. But, I mean, the dolls for these characters, they look a lot like they're, um, like the characters in the show, just with a bit more detail. But, I mean, yeah, the dolls look pretty nice. I've, like I said, I've seen them in stores, probably won't buy them. The only dolls I ever seem to buy now are the My Little Pony dolls, but, I mean, I'll talk about that later. Hint, hint. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anyway. Moving on. Number seven on this list. Uh, for number seven, I have chosen, um, this show. I know it's on TV, but it, I don't know for sure if it's in the U.S. Um, I think it is. I don't know. I know it's in France, and I've seen episodes of it in English on online. I haven't seen them on TV. But anyway, number seven on this list is, uh, it's a show called Lolly Rock. This show, I found, I actually found out about it just surfing the web. I was looking at different music videos, and suddenly this pops up. I'm like, oh, what is this? So I play it. It was one of their psalms. Again, the songs are what got me hooked on this, and uh, I don't know, I, it's, the show is, spo probably should have said this before, but spoiler alert, um, I guess this show is about three magical princesses that try to save their home from this evil guy. I don't know, I'm trying not to spoil off for it. I'm trying not to spoil a lot of it for you guys. But, I mean... Yeah. I guess what got me hooked with this is the music. I like the characters. The three main characters are, um... Let's see, the main, main character. Um, her name is Iris. Princess of Ophidia, if I recall. Yeah, Princess of Ophidia. And then there is Ariana, she is the princess of Volta. And then there is 
what's her name? Talia. Talia is the princess of. I really hope I pronounced this right. She's the princess of Zeris. I think, and, um, the animation is 2D, uh, like the animation, like the songs, like the story, like the characters, and yes, now I get to play you guys the theme, so, yeah. So that was the theme for you guys. Um, not really much else to say, except on to the next one. Number six. So for number six on this list, I have chosen, it's kind of breaking away from the last four, which have been kind of girly shows. But I mean, number six, okay. <clears throat> For number six, I have chosen Danny Phantom. Um, I when I first saw this show, I was just at the time, I was like, oh, this is a boy show. I don't like this. But then I actually started watching it. And I'm like, oh my god, I love this. <laughs> um, ah, uh, I don't know. I like it. It's one of those things where I know it's it's over, but I mean, I still love it. I watch it from time to time. Um, okay, I will say, for this list, at first I was going to make it a top five, but I know I wanted to make it a top ten. So, um, so, yeah, I guess this show, it's also a placeholder along with Lolly Rock, Star Darlings, Ever After High, and Monster High. Like I said, I started listing off the shows, and I'm like, wow, I don't like that many, I don't watch that many shows. And at first I was just going to make it a top five, but then I started thinking of other shows that I haven't watched in a while, but I did enjoy. Like this show, Danny Phantom. Uh, well, yeah. This show, um, again, it's in a 2D animation. Um, I love the characters. Uh, love the characters. I absolutely love the story. And for this one, I know it ended. And going to the, I guess, the final episode of this show, I liked it. It was a good finale. It was, it was a, it was a good way to end off the series. Um, although, like many others out there, I really want them to continue this series, and I know the creator of this show, I don't remember his name right now, I'm sorry, don't remember it, but I know he posted on his YouTube channel, he, uh, bleh, yeah, he posted on his YouTube channel drawings of the three main characters, Danny, Sam, and Tucker, he drew them 10 years older and honestly I looked at um I actually looked at the drawings I thought they were pretty cool and I'm like and that's when it's like it took me two seconds to process it and I'm like oh my god he might be bringing it back so yeah um Danny Phantom might be returning after a few years of being uh, canceled but I mean I don't know it might come back, it might not. I really want it to. But, like I said, uh, the finale for this, they ended it, they ended it very well. And, honestly, in my mind, I think this is like one of the shows 
where if you want to continue it, you can. I mean, the fan base is there. And, I mean, probably most of the fans of this show, they're probably, like, grown up now. And they, who knows, they might have kids of their own. And if this show does get rebooted, they'd have something in common with their kids. Well, anyway. Um. Whew. Yeah, now for the theme. Love the theme. As I was watching it, I'm like, oh, I need to go watch this on Hulu again for the tenth time. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Now we hit the final five on this list. So starting this part of the list off, number five. So for this, for number five, the show that I've chosen is Star vs. the Forces of Evil. This show, I know it's still going, and it has a 2D animation. If, yeah, 2D animation. Um, I love it. Um, I love the characters, especially Star and Marco. Um, the characters in this are just so lovable. You can't help but go like, oh, they're so adorable! Um... <sighs> I don't know what else to... Oh, yeah. I love the story for this. Um, like I said, love the characters. At first, as I was, like, watching, like, the first season of this show, I was like, oh, this is just, like, a... It's a fun little show for kids to watch. There's, it's not, like, one of those, like, heavily mystery encrypted shows, like, the next one on this list, by the way. Um, but once it got to the point where they introduced the character Toffee, I started thinking, okay, now this is getting, like, a little, like, mystery-ish here. Like, there's... I started thinking, um, there's gonna be a few YouTubers out there making some theories about this show. Um, and lo and behold, I was right. There are plenty of theories out there for, I guess, how some of these characters connect, um, what's gonna happen, and, yeah. And I mean, I know season two is also, is, ugh, season two has started already, and I'm watching that as it goes, but, so, I mean, for the, how should I say it, on my TV, um, my family, du we lost Disney Channel, so I can't, well, Disney, Disney Channel, Disney XD, don't have those anymore, so the only way I can watch it is online, so, I don't know, I pull up the latest episode on YouTube every now and, now and again, and I watch that, so, oh, I love the theme, the theme, it's, I, when I first listened to it, I was like, oh, this has, like, a video game vibe to it, like, at the beginning, and then I'm, like, looking at it, and I'm like, oh, this has a, it has a good beat. I love the theme. It's, it's stuck in my head, I'll give you that. So here it is. Get a Sorry. I'm talking rainbows. 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 I'm talking
<laughs> I love the theme. It's kind of cool. Um, uh, I don't know what else to say. Oh, I guess for the theme, it does the anim the animation of the theme for Star vs. the Forces of Evil. It has like an anime ish vibe to it. Like, I don't know how should I say? It, it has like a Sailor Moon ish vibe. To it, I don't know. I guess that's because it's so magical. Sorry. Um. Anyway, moving on. Number four on this list. Um. So for number four, okay. I want to say this now. Some of you might argue with me about number four and number three on this list. Um. For me, I could have gone either or for which one of the two shows got number four and which one got number three. And then I had to look at it, which one of them is still going. So, yeah, number four on this list, I chose Gravity Falls. Ah, oh, this show brings back so many memories. First thing that... Okay. I know this show has ended, and I watched the finale. I have I watched it with my brother, and he agrees as well. This show couldn't have ended in any other perfect way. This show, the the its final episode, it was the Alex Hirsch ended this show so perfectly. Um, I loved everything about it. I actually cried. At the end of it, I was like, oh! I Yeah, I actually started crying as Dipper and Mabel were getting on the bus to go back home, and it had like that little story of if you're ever in Oregon, be sure to look up Gravity Falls as Dipper's talking there. Yeah, the, the final episode made me cry. I'm. I will admit that. Um. What else? Love the characters. Um, if I could and I had the time to actually do it and the materials, I would cosplay as Mabel. I mean, for any cosplay that I may or may not do, I want the character that I'm cosplaying to have, like, the same hair style as me. So that way I don't have, because I don't like wearing wigs. So, I mean, if I were to cosplay as Mabel, I would probably just, like, curl my hair, maybe crimp it. And just, I get Mabel's sweater, get her skirt, and there, I'm Mabel! And, okay, my brother has said that if, if he were to have the costume, he would dress up as Dipper, and I would dress up as Mabel. He said he would do that with me. So, that's fun. It's one of the very few shows we can actually sit down and watch without killing each other. <laughs> so, yeah, for the theme for this, I love the theme. Um, like I said, like I said before when I was talking about uh, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, this show, Gravity Falls, it's so mystery encrypted. I mean, there's a building in here called the Mystery Shack, so, I mean, ah, uh, half the time I just watched it and I did, okay, when I had started watching this, I didn't realize there was, like, clues or something, like, embedded in it for the viewers to, I guess, understand more about the show. I didn't know that at first. But then I went on YouTube and saw, oh, why are there theories about this out there? Gravity Falls theories were like my introduction to theories about other shows here. So without further ado, here's the awesome theme that is Gravity Falls. Thank you. 
I love the theme for this. Um, if I would have to, if I would have to pick my favorite character out of this, it would be Mabel. But I mean, my close second favorite would be Bill Cipher, or maybe Dipper. I don't know. Hey, can Bipper count? Hey, sorry. Moving on. Number, yeah. Number three. So, for number three, I picked this show as number three. And, well, yeah, I made this show number three instead of Gravity Falls because this show is still going. And this, uh, phew. My third favorite TV show has to be Steven Universe. Now, like I, because I know I made a video, like a karaoke video where I sang a few songs from Steven Universe. If that wasn't a clue, I don't know what is. I love this show. I love the characters. I love the songs. I love the story. I love everything. Um. Oh, God. I've actually talked to my brother and my friend AJ. She's, um, they said that, I mean, as a little, like, group cosplay that we could do, I would go as Stevani, and then my brother goes as Steven, and my friend AJ goes as Connie. They said they would do that with me. Don't know if they do it now, but, I mean, at the time, we wanted to do that. That was something we wanted to do. But, again, we didn't have the time or the motivation to actually make the costumes. So... Yeah, Steven Universe. Awesome show. I love it. Ah, oh, What can I say? I love the fandom. The fandom is so nice with this show. And, okay, I gotta say, for this show, I... Of other people out there agree with me. I know I've heard this many times from many different YouTubers. Um, the only character development, well, I mean, any major character development that is done in this show is through sinning and crying. And I know there have been a few songs out there where the character is sinning and they're also crying. I have sang... The, one of the songs that comes to mind when I think of that in my Steven Universe karaoke videos. So, go to my channel and go check that out. It's the first karaoke video I ever did. So, yeah, I guess, last but not least, here's the theme. We'll always save the day. And if you think we can, we'll always find a way. That's why the people of this world believe in. Yeah, there's the theme. I don't know if you guys heard that. That sounded a bit low. Anyway, that's the theme for Steven Universe, and that is number three on this list. Anyway, moving on. Number two. So, number two on this list. It's a new show I recently got into. I watched one episode and I'm like, I. Yeah, I watched one episode and I was a diehard fan right then and there. This show is Miraculous Ladybug. All I have to say, I say this to a lot of people that are also fans of this show. I tell them, this show is my new guilty pleasure. And you want to know why? Because Love Square. So, yeah. That's all I have to say. I love it. I love this show. love the characters. Um, I actually, um, what? Shower. I'm now. doing a video. I don't care. Now. Shut it down. I'm almost done. Sorry, guys. Um, anyway, love the characters. Love it. I have told everybody I could... And they agree. I, would, I could totally pull off a cosplay of either Marinette, Ladybug, Adrian, or Cat Noir. I would love to. Anyway, 
Here's the theme. Um, I found the full theme, so I'll just be showing you the first minute of it. Yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, that's the first minute for you guys. So also, I want to say I am so hyped for season 2 of this show. It's coming out. And I can't wait cuz I know they released. I've watched several videos of New York Comic Con, the Miraculous Ladybug panel. We have finally been it's been released for who gets the Bee Miraculous and the Fox Miraculous. The Bee Miraculous, spoiler alert, is going to Chloe. And, I don't know, some people are disappointed about that. But, I mean, I'm happy because, because the fact that she's getting the Bee Miraculous means we're actually going to get character development from her. Yay! So, anyway, the Fox Miraculous. It has been released that the Fox Miraculous is going to Alia. At first, I was, I'm like 50-50 on this. I'm like so glad that it's going to be Alia, but yeah, I don't really have much to say. I, ooh, there was a part of me that thought it would be Alia, but it, I was like, nah, that can't be true. I mean, I was an open book to who would get that. Anyway. The moment you all have been waiting for. Number one. So, number one on this list is... I mean, if you haven't figured out, figured this out yet, then you probably haven't been paying close enough attention. My number one all-time favorite show has to be My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Yep, that's right. Uh, I love a show that is for little five-year-old girls. And so, in other words, I'm a brony. I'm a I'm a diehard brony, guys. Um, I mean, in my last, in my first vlog, I showed you guys my all my My Little Pony dolls, which are on the shelf over there. You guys can't see them. Um. Yeah, I love this show. As of late for season six, hasn't really been that much exciting. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of starting to waver with it, but I mean, after... Was, mm, I'm just going to say, it's... Like, it went up, and then it started going, like, down. Now it's starting to go back up, as for my favorite thing. And, I mean, <coughs> just to keep... Oh, I also want to say, for this, this... The fandom for this show is one of the best fandoms I have ever heard will been a part of for all the shows on this list. Um... Yeah, so just now I get to play the theme for you guys. That seems really low. So yeah, 
and there's the theme for you guys, and there's the my top ten favorite TV shows. Hope you guys liked it. Um. So anyway, be sure to leave a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. And again, I want to I wanna say I'm doing a Q&A, so go down in the comments, leave me a few questions that you want to ask me. And yeah, I might be posting a few other top tens, maybe. Probably, I will probably post uh, my top ten favorite animes, so... Yeah, I guess that's it for this video. So, Yakachu out.